Hello and welcome to Be Cool's Repricing Central. This video will teach first-time users how to set up min price, max price, and rule on the Manage Listings page. To get to this page, click on the Manage Listings tab. Let's get started. You'll notice all listings start paused. You need to enter min, max, and a rule to start repricing. The min is your price floor and the max is your ceiling. Please make sure to include your cost, fees, shipping, and margin into your min and max. You can also use the profit calculator to help you calculate min and max. The rule designates how you will be repricing. Now I'm going to enter min, max, and rule for one listing. $5 for min, $30 for max, and I'm going to choose the compete for the buy box, maximize profit rule. Hit save. Okay, the green arrow indicates this listing is repricing enabled. Click one more time to pause it. I'm going to leave it on. Click one more time. Okay, now let's do a second listing. I'm going to enter $7 for min, $33 for max, and I'm going to choose the same listing. All right, hit save. Okay, two listings are repricing enabled. Now I'd like to take a moment to talk about shipping fees. You'll notice in the first two listings that we have already downloaded your shipping fee from the reports. You can see that in the shipping column and in the your price plus shipping column. We need shipping to be able to calculate min and max price. It normally takes a few hours after the product is active on Amazon for the shipping to download. If we haven't downloaded the shipping yet, you will see a box like this where you can enter a temporary value. If you try to enter min and max price on a listing without a shipping fee, like this one, you will get an error. So let's see what that looks like. Enter a max price, hit save, and you get an error. So let's go back and enter a shipping fee. Enter, and then hit save. This time, it takes the min and max price. But we're still missing a rule, so let's go ahead and choose a rule. I'll use the same one. Hit save. Okay, now this listing is also repricing enabled. To automatically assign shipping for new listings as they are downloaded into Be Cool, go to Settings, General. On the General Settings page, go down to the last setting. Turn on Set Shipping and enter a value you want to assign for shipping. I will use $3.99. Right now, it applies to both FBA and FBM listings, but we're working on splitting this option in two in the next patch. Hit save when you're done. Now, let's set up repricing in bulk. Bulk Actions is really quick and lets you set up repricing for multiple listings at a time. Before we do that, I'd like for you to take note of the cost and the your price plus shipping column. Cost is where you enter your product cost, and for FBA listings, you can include the FBA inbound shipping cost as well. Your price plus shipping is the current price on Amazon. Okay, back to bulk actions. Click here to select all the listings on the page. For now, I'm only going to select the listings that are missing min and max price. So I'm going to uncheck these. I'm going to click Bulk Actions, Set Min, Max, Price, and Rule. I'm going to use Selected Listings. You can set min and max price based off of your current price, your cost, or fixed price. For now, I'm just going to use your price plus shipping. For min price, it will be your price plus shipping minus 50%. For max price, it will be your price plus shipping plus 50%. And then make sure to select your rule. Okay, but you're not done yet. Make sure that all three of these options are turned on so that it will apply for those listings. All right, when you're done, hit save you'll get a confirmation, hit yes, and you'll see that two listings were successfully added. 
It will say failed if there was some kind of error and overwrite if you're changing existing values. Once you're done, hit close. All right. Now you are now repricing multiple listings using both individual and bulk methods. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.